Hey everybody, welcome back to another weekly pack. So, or a blind weekly, sorry. I filmed these, I probably filmed for about an hour and a half and I did not check the files to make sure that it was recording audio. So sadly, I'm gonna have to do a voice recording for this and re-record all of the audio. Um, I wish I could get the live version for it, but I, I just messed up on that. So we're sticking with the huge bananas for the name here. And this weekly has been very, very tough. So going through here, kind of my strategy right here was just to try to get good stats and maybe use the possum here to try to get more stats on future pets. So we get another possum here. And this is actually a really good setup with the double possum, double basilisk because then we're able to get basically two two fives. As you can see, my mouse went up there because I, I wanted to click that, but I know I couldn't. So right here, we're kind of cleaning up a little bit. We're on one win, five hearts. And I see the frost wolf. I'm like, we got to go with the frost wolf. So I believe we combine the basilisk here. Maybe. Yeah, we combine the Basilisk. And then I see the Chupacabra and I was like, we got to go with the Chupacabra. So I believe we also combine the Possums. Oh no, we skip over it. Interesting. So we're setting ourselves up for a level up with the Possums. I think what I was wanting to do was find something to faint onto. And so we could do it on the Frost Wolf there. Also, okay, so we're going to get taken out, sadly, by the Anteater. Also, I'm still doing that giveaway for once I reach 2,000 subscribers. I'm going to be giving some packs away. So if you haven't subscribed, feel free. It's it's free to do so. Um, and then Anteater, I feel like, is a good grab early on. And then we get Puppy. So I think I buy sell a Puppy here. Yeah. I love going with lasagna just because it's decent scaling and you just have to wait two turns. And I think we bring in the Frost Wolf, right? Yeah. And then save the Anteater. And I think I'm waiting to sell the Possum to put it onto the Anteater. And we actually win off of the dirty rat here, which was amazing. I was super stoked on that point. Also, if you notice, I I recorded this one a little bit later. I've been a little bit busy this week doing a little bit of streaming and just not being able to play the weekly pack as quickly as I wanted to, because I'm filming this on Wednesday. So the day before this video is coming out. And yeah, so we're restructuring here. We do get a level two frost wolf, which should be pretty helpful. And then at this point, the cricket's doing jack squat. So I think we go for the blowfish instead. Let's see what we do here. And I wish I could remember what I was talking about. Okay, so we go blowfish right in the middle. And luckily, we're able to get some of that frost right onto the blowfish. But sadly, we, we draw here, which honestly, I know I say a lot, but drawing is not a big deal. And I'm just trying to get some stats on that blowfish right here. Because when you're drawing, it's just prolonging the game. And you might run into harder opponents later on, but at least you're not losing. So, and then I see the Cappy, and I'm like, okay, we got to go Cappy here. I think I freeze both of them. No, I bring in one Cappy, I think just because it had a little bit higher health. And then I think next turn, we're going to sell the Basilisk and go double Cappy. So 
So we take out the Chupacabra. And I've seen a lot of Bisons in this weekly pack. Okay, so we get the level 2 Anteater as well. And then nothing good with Armadillo. I guess you could go Armadillo and Scorpion this, um, this weekly pack, but I don't think it's that good. Okay, so we get some stats on the Frost Wolf. I think we go... Try to go for a level 3. Or no, I think we combine the Cappies here and go double Frost Wolf. So we take out the Chupacabra. And then we get Frost on three different pets, which is nice. And I wish they... So I know they always add chocolate in the weekly packs now. But I wish they would do the same thing with Pill. Because there's always so many pets that can benefit from Pill. So like, you could have the Ant Eater. And you could Pill that and get two level threes and just... You're good. Yeah, I felt like it wasn't worth it to go level three Ant Eater here. And then someone has a Nessie, but... It, not very strong. And we're off by one, which actually really sucks. But we're fine. And so this is my first round, first time playing the weekly pack. And we're actually staying up with the hearts, surprisingly. I think this is when we combine the, the Frost Wolf. And we go the Questing Beast. I think we go with the Excalibur to try to start scaling the the Blowfish in the back. I think we take a risk and sell to try to roll into something a little bit better. Yeah, so we push him to the back and then we roll a Cappy. Or no, we grab the Scorpion. And then we we do have double scorpion there, but that's not worth it. I guess one strat you could do is with moose. You just have a bunch of scorpions and a few moose, and you just try to roll for tier ones. And then you just get tons of health, and then you're just taking out everyone. So we get taken out pretty easily there. And then sadly, he's getting a lot of triggers from my ants. And so we barely hold on with one health. And that seems to be the case for a lot of the battles that I've had here. And honestly, I should have grabbed like chicken and chocolate cake to try to scale since we had some hearts. I do see the husky. And this is one thing I wish that Super Auto Pets would add is some kind of food to remove held food perks so it could be i don't know like a baguette or it could be or actually i think they added a baguette it could be something like i don't know some, some crazy food but I think if you added that, it would change the game so much. Because since Husky works off of the perks, like you can just remove them and then you can actually use Husky later on. And so at this point, I'm just going tons of perks. We do get a chocolate, so I think we go level three Frost Wolf here. And then there's the Phoenix and Manticore, which if I could buy both of them would be great. And honestly, I probably should have sold the Frost Wolf and grabbed the the Phoenix. And so, I guess I'm grabbing Manticore to go with the Frost Wolf here. Just kind of thinking through it. And I really want to go Sabretooth because Sabretooth is one of my favorite pets. Just that you can keep summoning. Yeah. So I think at this point, I'm feeling like selling the, the scorpion. Because we're just losing the very small pets right now. Yeah. And then we actually... 
Okay, we actually draw that one. That's nice. And I felt like this round was going forever and ever. So we get rid of Cabby and Scorpion. I probably should have got rid of Anteater and gone double Manticore. Now that I'm thinking about it. Oh, and I sat up the Blowfish. Interesting. Yeah, so I think, I don't know why I I didn't sell the Anteater. Yeah, so he goes on our Blowfish, sadly. And he gets two triggers off of that, but we get a couple of our own. And it, we're just small. We are too small. Even if we were level two, we wouldn't have made it. I think at this point, I know that I need to focus on the saber tooth. And I I wish we could go Siberian Husky, because it's just so so good. And then going lasagna, keeping the saber tooth in the back to keep scaling is is crucial. And I I should have got rid of the, the ant eater there. Yeah, I think, yeah, so we barely draw there. I think if I would have got rid of the Anteater, I probably could have won because having him behind the Frost Wolf makes no sense at all because you're hitting with one point and then it's doing five extra damage, I think. And so it's just not good. So we're slowly scaling, but it, it's just not good scaling at all. And for some reason here, we got a, a blank screen. You can see my mouse moving around. Yeah, so like we're wasting a bunch of that. I think this is where we lose. And we lose by one heart right there, which was so sad. I was so upset right there. Well, not like super upset, but it was a little frustrating. I think I just even out the saber tooth. Yeah, make him a 21-21. So also, I'm wondering what kind of build you guys have been going for. Because right here, I was trying with the Frost Wolf. And we keep getting infinite hits with Blowfish there, which was actually really nice. And then we get sniped out by the Grizzly Bear, which absolutely sucked. Just enough hits for that one. So that one didn't work out, so we hop into round two. So here we are in round two. And I feel like I have a better idea on what I want to go for. And... I thought about going with the Pythamarin, but then I was like, crap, I can't have the Pythamarin in the back because then the Golden Retriever is just going to come up and his ability is going to be wasted. And then I couldn't put the Ant in the back because his ability would be wasted. But I mean, either way, we lost here. So at this point, I bring in the Pythamarin so we can use his ability, grab the Possum just so we don't lose out on anything. And then I feel like during this weekly, when I was trying to film this, I had, I grabbed the most amount of, um, the most amount of pigs I've ever grabbed in a game. So keep rolling here. There's a level up on the pig, which was great. I see the Chupacabra and I'm like, maybe we'll go Chupacabra because it, it can be good. And so, sadly, the I can't sell the possum because it's not going to work on anything. So I grab a double possum. And I think I go with the frost wolf here. Maybe. I'm thinking about it. And then I roll past it. But I think since it gave it to me twice, I, I save it. 
Because usually if, if Sap gives it to you, you got to go with it. So now we got a big possum in the back. And then the sea turtle screws us over. So I don't want to sell because they're both on faint. And so is the rat. So I think I sell the pig by one of the frost wolves. And try to get... And we get another one, actually. Which, it's a sign, right? Go there. And then, probably what I should have done is not combine them. And then just buy, like, the mosquito or, or something. I think we grab the drop bear here. So we're rocking a four squad, which feels kind of weak. Because our strongest units are the Chupacabra and the Frost Wolf. Yeah, and we're just not strong enough. And so in this run, we, we do lose quite a bit. And there's an automatic level two. And so I think we skip out on the drop bear and try to go with the manatee scaling to try to get the Chupacabra bigger. And I think at this point, I realized since Husky's in this pack, I didn't want to put any perks on top of my Chupacabra or any other pets. And so I was trying to find the Husky. And so I'm not buying the croissant. I'm not buying almost anything. And then the melon helps out a lot right there to get us the dub. There's another Chupacabra, so we're, we gotta go for level three with that. And then we get rid of the Ox as well, because since they nerfed him, he's not very good. And then we start rolling. There's another Frost Wolf, so I think I save that one. No, we only go for, for level two on the Frost Wolf. Honestly, I think with Manatee, they need to buff him just a little bit. So one way they could buff him is he takes maybe four damage or three damage. That might be a little bit better. Okay, so we get another Cappy there. So double Cappy, it's great scaling. Keep rolling. And I'm wanting to find another manatee, but we couldn't find it. So I would have grabbed the chocolate cake to put it on the frost wolf, but I think we just keep rolling. Or actually, yeah, I guess we keep rolling and try to sell the manatee. I think we go bison here in hopes of getting a level three chupacabra. And then I'm thinking about going with Moose. Ooh. So he takes out his whole team, and I thought I was good at this point. But the great one is too great. So we keep statting up him. And we roll a little bit more. We get a puppy. So we combine to grab the puppy. Gotta go over this so we can keep scaling. And at this point, we're getting kind of close to the tier sixes. And so I'm looking for the tier five moose. So we get taken out again. And we actually, we actually end up winning that one. And so we combine the bisons, and I wish I wouldn't have done this. Because getting a level three is very tough. And at this point, I see the husky and I'm like, crap. I put donut on the chupacabra. And so it's not going to scale him at all. And so I'm just rolling. And then I find moose. And so I think I sell here to grab the moose. And probably what I should have done is froze both of the, the moose. And then waited till the next turn. But we do get nine health on top of him. 
And it's really satisfying watching the moose trigger just one pet. And so luckily here we got rid of the peanuts as well, so we can trigger quite a few times. And then we draw. So we're hanging on with four hearts, or not four hearts, two hearts, four wins. Keep scaling the, the Chupacabra. There's the Manticore that we could go with. But I think we pass up on him and just try to go health scaling. Keep rolling. And at this point, I'm like, we are not going to find a level three Chupacabra. And so the bison is just useless. And so I think what I do here is I sell the bison to grab a second moose. Because they're just about the same in stats. And then we'll get one trigger. And we actually find another moose and a chocolate, which was so sad. So now we got a 1518 Chupacabra, which you would think would be decent until you run into teams like this. So they got, I don't know why he had the cheese like that. Because it just wastes his cheese. So now we're just freezing all the tier ones we can find to get as much health as we can. And I thought about going Bird of Paradise and I probably should have. Combine, try to get, we get another Bird of Paradise, but we go Grizzly instead. And then I believe we put tomato on the frost wolf to try to snipe out any grizzly bears that we see. And at this point he's a 1540, which is absolutely amazing. He snipes out our bear. I mean, can you believe that? And then we're good. But yeah. And now I see the mushroom and mushroom would have been better to get on the Frost Wolf. Um, and at this point, I'm saving a bunch of tier ones, and I'm not sure if the Moose is gonna keep targeting the Chupacabra. I don't know why I froze. I didn't freeze the other tier ones, because we missed out on a lot. Yeah, so we go Questing Beast, we sell there. I believe we go Manticore. We don't. We go another moose. I believe. I believe we go double moose. Yeah. And so we get another chocolate as well, which is sad. So they're all going to focus on the Chupacabra until he's 50-50, which is great. Because if it would have kept targeting him, we would have lost a lot quicker. And so we get rid of his mushroom which actually doesn't help us that much and now we're just a super healthy team so then we we find the saber tooth and i'm like okay we're going saber tooth so let's combine them the moose we'll grab the chocolate and then just keep going for tier ones and then there's the chocolate so sadly we can't level to the saber tooth And then I wish we could grab the donut so it just targets him. And it didn't hit the saber tooth at all, which might have been that that was probably pretty bad for us. So we actually miss out. We only got one trigger with the um with the chupacabra there. So we get another moose, try to find a level three and the donut, which is nice. So we'll go level three moose and then we get one trigger. So he's gonna get nine health, which is a decent amount, but I don't think it's enough. So we snipe out, I don't know what was back there. And then I forgot that the trooper cobra will target just the saber tooth. So we snipe out just a little bit and the weakness we're off by just one again it's happening way too often so we find another tier one we want to stat up the 
Sabretooth as much as we can. So, and I think we're going Mushroom here to try to get more of the Frost on everything else. There's another Tier 1. And then we run into a Chocolate again. Yeah. So at this point, we got a 750, which is amazing. And luckily, his goes off first, the melon goes off before ours does. So we get a little bit more of a snipe. Goes off twice, and then we're off by just a little bit, and I was so frustrated. And so at this point, I'm realizing maybe we can use the ailments to our advantage. So hopping into round two here, sorry, not round two, round three, and it wasn't even completely round three because I did multiple runs with this. So we're sticking with the huge bananas for the the name. Um, at this point, I had probably done like seven or eight runs. And by this point, I realized the Trooper Copper was not working and the Frost Wolf was not helping long term. And so I, I knew I had to switch it up a little bit. And I'd seen a lot of people trying to go with the Whale Shark. And I was like, well, the Whale Shark could be pretty good because there's the Phoenix, there's Frost Wolf, there's Flea. There's a lot of pets that use ailments. And so maybe we can use that to our advantage. And here I actually see a double golden beetle, which I never use, but I grabbed both of them for some reason, trying to get more money. And so we got some good stats with a lot of our pets here. So the basilisk is helping out for us not getting sniped out completely. And then we have our golden beetle helping us out too. So there's the Chupacabra and the Rat combo, which I tried going a couple times, but it didn't work. We get the level two, and then we find another one. I'm like, you know what? Let's go level three. I think we can do it. And as soon as I bought it, I was like, that's probably a bad idea. But we did find another one, so we we're very, very close. We might just need another chocolate or roll into another golden beetle. And so they're trying to snipe us with the, the trumpets here. But we're good. So we're so close to a level 3 golden beetle. Which will give us a lot of money. So we find another cappy. So we'll sell the basilisk. To bring in a double cappy. And like I said before. You have to go cappy this weekly. If you don't, the scaling's not going to be there. So I think we level trying to get the husky but we don't. I find the whale shark and I bring it in, I think. No, we go swan. Because I knew that we didn't have any pets that would help scale the whale shark. And he's only a 1-4. So I didn't feel worth it to bring him in. And then we actually win by just a little bit here. And by this point, this run has been one of the best runs that we've had because we're still at five hearts we're on turn six and i see the puppy and if i see the puppy i buy the puppy and then i roll to try to get something better but we end up with the whale shark and i actually stick him in the back which probably saves us on this run here as you watch towards the end here so we get sniped out just a little bit and then we go up against a 2-2 ram. So we're able to get the draw there. We find the level 2 cappy and the husky. And so at this point, I want to sell the possum. And because I was doing that, I was thinking about going chicken. But husky's just better because we're going to be keeping the whale shark long term. And probably the cappy as well. So we get another whale shark, so that was huge to 
get a big stat buff. And Well Shark, I'd never really go for, but it is very nice. And so at this point, I'm hoping he snipes out one of the sturdy rats, and he does, but then he snipes us out too. So we go and get the level three golden beetle. I've already gotten that one before, but I haven't had the arena run to get the full achievement with the win. And so I was kind of considering going for it here because I could sell the golden beetle and bring in the cappy and keep the swan, but I end up just rolling past it and getting rid of the swan to get more stats on the rolls. And so at this point, I'm looking for an upgrade of some sort. And so I grab the manatee, we get the double manatee, which could be helpful. Just so we're able to scale enough. And then our golden beetle is doing some work. And then we have just enough with the whale shark to take out the bison as well. So I think we combine the cappies and we're getting more and more golden beetles. This is the most that I've ever seen. So I'm glad we didn't combine the cappies just yet so we could bring in the husky. We had another husky so we get a level two. And at this point we're on four wins and we're looking pretty good. Our whale shark is... Uh, getting sat up pretty quickly from the husky and the manatee. And then look at our whale shark go. So that was nice. So we'll get the level two husky here, which is huge. And we could go saber tooth, but I had the goal in mind of going Phoenix and whale shark. So I roll past it, trying to find it, something to level up. And I think we just go lasagna because I don't want to waste the manatee stats and everything. Because when you buy a new manatee, it'll just bring his health back up to the highest one, which is super nice. And then, yeah, we're, we're scaling pretty quickly here. So we get a double manatee as well. And then... I go stake here and put it on the husky because it won't affect him scaling everyone else up. And then we go level two and we get the phoenix. And at this point, I sell the golden beetle. And it gives us how much? Gave us 12 gold, which is pretty amazing. So then we're able to keep rolling, try to find more whale sharks, try to find um, more phoenix or, or anything. And so at this point, my goal is to focus on the whale shark and the manatee, not the manatee, the whale shark and the phoenix. And I really wanted to put a mushroom on the phoenix, but he wouldn't get scaled up by the, the husky. And so we got some pretty good stats rolling in now. And the manatee is only going to be taking about three damage because he's going to get healed up from the husky. So we're, we're going to get some good scaling from the manatee here. And because of that sake, we're able to take out the mammoth. And then our whale shark gets plus two, plus two. And we're big enough to take out the moose. The meese. Yeah, so we're just focusing on him. And then we get a level two. And I think going level two phoenix is better here. Because it affects more of their team as well. And then I'm holding on to Manticore because I want to sell the Manatee, but we keep rolling into them somehow. We probably could have had a level three Manatee by now, but we, I don't want to do that. And so here we go. He gets taken out, but he gets a couple triggers on the Sabertooth. So we end up losing by two here. So we're down to three hearts, which is a little scary, but we're doing decent. And I think at this point, I'm just wanting to win. So we get rid of, 
I think we roll, yeah. Trying to get a couple more stats on stuff. Get double Manticore. So at this point we sell the Cappy and try to scale up the Phoenix. And then Peach of Immortality does come in handy. It's just investing. And so since our Manatee's at seven health now, I think it's time to sell him. Yeah, so we're able to take out both of the Mammoths, which was great. And then our Manticore is doing a lot of work. Yeah, there's also Squid that also is an ailment as well. So, yeah, this part we take out the Manatee, I believe. Or no, we double up on the Manticore. And then I think we buy Peach and go another Phoenix. And then we hold on to the Manatee one more time. Because I know that he's going to get scaled up just a little bit more. But not enough to survive next round. And then this is when we go up against... Not a great team, but probably a decent team. If we would have been Chupacabra and Dirty Rat, then we would have lost that one. Yeah. And so here, I think we go double phoenix we'll sell the uh the manatee here and then we'll bring in phoenix and we'll go double phoenix roll into another one get another whale shark get another chocolate and we are sitting pretty good on nine wins here so we're rolling up with our husky and a bunch of phoenix and there we go and then we just got level ones to deal with. And then our whale shark gets it done. So yeah, this was a tough weekly for me, but I think going Manticore, Phoenix, and whale shark is the way to go. And then some way to scale. Um, so having Husky, or you could have Manatee for a little bit, or probably even Bird of Paradise would be good. And here I accidentally started a new game, but this is just to look at the pack. You could go turtle, but I think the strongest one this weekly is going with that last run that I had with whale shark, phoenix, and manticore. Just because you protect yourself against any ailments with the whale shark, and then you also attack your your team, or not your team, your opponent with phoenix. So that's what I would recommend for this weekly. It was tough, but it was a fun one. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I wish I could have got the live commentary for you guys because I feel like that's so much better. Um, but here we are going with the voiceover. I haven't done one of these in a while as well. So, But thanks for everyone for tuning in. And yeah, if you enjoyed the content, then make sure to subscribe and like the video. Peace.